Okay. I was wondering about the same thing. So we're just waiting here for our <coughs> turn to go. Oh, it's been really scorched here. Been a huge grass fire right here. And they've been putting the fire out. They've had to kind of wait. See that truck up the road there? Light. Yeah. That's the one that was spraying. They're spraying Warm right here, fire. too. Bang. And over there. It's a wonder we can breathe. We're on Highway 123. What you don't want to do, though, is have it. On our way to Birch Lake. Catch on fire. <coughs> no, we don't. And it's March the 6th, 2016. And there's the airplane that was spraying. said that's a home of Clark Gable and Anita Bryant. So here we are. We're on Highway 123. Well, no. we're, well we were, but we're not. We're on Highway 11, crossing we're 123. Crossing 123 ends right here. There. Somebody's either getting a ticket or they're going to the fire. Yeah, they're going to the fire. We saw a huge grass fire a few minutes ago. There's a sign that says Farmer Home of Anita Bryant and Clark Gable. Okay, we're now entering Barnstall, Oklahoma, on our way to Barnstall Lake. And just uh, give it a little pause for a second here. We were going to yesterday had we taken our ride to Barnstall in a timely manner, but we decided to come today as a sign on it, sorry we're closed. So it's one of the three places to eat, I think, in Barnstall. <laughs> but anyway, they may be closed for good, I don't know. We're now heading to downstown, downtown Barnstall, and believe me, it will not be a long video <laughs> because there is not much in Barnstall. Well, I want to get mm -hmm. back to oil well in downtown. Mm -hmm. so. so, I give you Barnstall, Oklahoma. <coughs> And we're turning left on Highway 11. And there's Andy's Burgers. We were thinking about eating there yesterday, too. Because we were getting desperate. <laughs> and there was one more little place to eat right in here, but I, I don't know what it was. Oh, this bar. I tried to call Big the bar to find out if they had. And then there's a pizza place. I don't know if they have food in that bar or not. But anyway. So, we're continuing on. through downtown Barnstall and um, I just wanted you to see the picture of the oil well that's in the middle of the street. We used to have an oil well in the middle of the street in Bartlesville in the 1920s. There was lots of oil wells in Bartlesville. There's the old oil well. And <coughs> Main, so we're going down by the oil well that's in the middle of the street. But man, is this a steep hill. Here we go. There's a lot of 
dust stirred up, it looks like. <laughs> I would say it's a fire, but I don't think it is. <laughs> This is another pizza it's two place miles from here. That's the only pizza place. No, there's Big Heart Pizza too. Well, maybe that is Big Heart Pizza. Yeah, that is Big Heart. <laughs> we're still on Highway 11 on our way to Birch Lake. And I think we should get a view of the lake as we come up this hill here. Yep, there it is, right there. This dam quite, isn't quite as low as the one in last week. <laughs> I'm Elk City Lake. Oh no, I think it was, I think it was the City Lake of um, Alaska, wasn't it? it was That's low. true. Yeah, I forgot about that. Elk City Lake was two weeks ago. Yeah, and so here's the lake and we're crossing the dam. bench I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be the area of Birch Cove. And we're coming up on the lake in just a moment. And we can see the lake through the trees, but we just haven't gotten there yet. Getting ready to fish. They're putting their boat in at the boat dock. Here is the lake. Give you the birch lake. John and I are going to sit here for a minute and have us a piece of apple and some nuts and a tangerine. We had a nice lunch though at the Mexican restaurant with some friends. Before we left Bartlesville. Oh, I give you Birch Lake. I think that's... Going back across the land dam at Birch Lake and we're headed for Twin Coves. I think that's where the swimming area is. And we decided to have our little bit of a snack over there. Anyway, here it is. The lake. Birch Lake is about 27 miles from our house. I think we're on high, we go on highway 123 and then get on highway 11. This is County Road 2365. We need to go six miles. Six miles to Okeesa. If we live that long, it's just really bumpy. <laughs> That was a bad confession, of course, we're going to live. <laughs> Arrived in Okisa, Oklahoma. There's just nothing much going on here. <laughs> just two or three little houses and a couple of kids waving at us. That's sweet. Okisa, Oklahoma. If there's any more to it, I don't know we're where on, it is. We're on the outskirts. We're on the outskirts. <laughs> so we should be there in just about two seconds. <laughs> Traffic is mind-boggling. In 800 feet, you will have arrived in your destination. In 800 feet, we will have arrived in downtown 
Okay, so <laughs> here we are. You have arrived. We have arrived. The intersection of Okiso Road and County Road 2365. And here we are. And across this intersection that becomes Okiso Road again. Hmm. Flat dab in the middle of Okiso right here. <laughs> and as I said, the traffic is so bad, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a one truck. We have just left Okisa, and I suspect that in the summertime, these hills are really pretty. And we're on our way home to Bartlesville. Okay. And I don't know what road this is. This is 2425, Osage County Road 2425. Okay. Actually, we figured out this is uh, County Road 2361. We thought it was something else, but not. Uh, and it's, but I, I still guess in the summertime that it's very pretty. We've arrived home in Bartlesville. This is a research center where John worked for many years. It's hazy here from the fire that we saw earlier on a different road. And the wind has been blowing the smoke this way. Um, it's so windy that John's hat blew clear across the top of the car. Anyway, um, it's about quarter to five, so it's not that late for it to be hazy, but the smoke is kind of burning our eyes. But Anyway, we had a good afternoon, and we always enjoy our rides.